So we just had the 15th pick. We took Corey Kispert from Gonzaga. I heard from Rui immediately from Japan. He's very pleased. Bradley loves shooting. Uh, we're really excited. It's a tremendous addition. I think he's going to make us very proud. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Fred. Hey, Tommy. Um, how how did you guys come to this selection, and and what were your dealings like with uh, with Kisper just leading up to tonight? Uh, we we were with him what three four days ago, and uh, he just had a great workout. But the workouts only kind of go to validate what you already know. We knew he was the best shooter in the draft, and we we're really excited to get him. Didn't know where he would fall. The fact that he was there on the board at ten. Start looking around, seeing what we needed to do to move up. We decided it, this would be a great opportunity. We'll sit still. And there he was after uh, Moses Moody went at 14. And then there, there was our guy. So it paid off for us to be patient. And we're really excited. Like I said, we think he was the best shooter in the draft. Our shooting games next year will be pretty fun with him and Bradley and Davies Bertans. They're going to be something to watch. Not for money, though. Chase. Uh, yeah, Tommy, um, you mentioned his shooting. How do you kind of see him developing as a shooter in terms of um, getting open, you know, off, off the dribble, off screens, and, and that sort of thing? Yeah, I think if you watch his game, he, he's someone that is in perpetual motion. He knows how to get open. He knows how to create space. You know, the gravity shooters, they know what to do. Uh, there's no issue with him. He knows what his job is. Tremendous knockdown shooter. Kareem? Hey, Tommy, congratulations on getting your guy. Um, I just wanted to ask, you know, obviously we're talking a lot about his shooting and that's what he's known for, but I'm curious, what else do you like about him? What else does he bring to the table um, that really attracted you guys to him? Well, he's very proficient on the defensive end. He's a fantastic team player, great, great individual, a leader, somebody that Gonzaga, you know, he helped lead them to the national championship game. Uh, his he just had a stellar collegiate career. He's very mature. And we think when you put teams together, the way that we see the future of the NBA, I've mentioned this several times, I think you're going to see more threes than less. And he's somebody that really makes us comfortable that we can reach our goal of increasing our free throw, our three point shooting. Is it, and just one follow up is there something that you like about? Um, a guy who's been there for four years and is a little bit older. And, you know, yesterday you were kind of talking about you could go with a prospect or somebody that's older and that could come in right away. Is there something attractive about the fact that he's older and can step in right away? And certainly that helps. He's very mature. We don't have to wait very long. But again, we were looking for the very best talent. His elite superpower is shooting. And that's something we were really attracted to. Uh, but certainly the maturity piece helps a lot, too. Thank you. That's all the time we have. Oh, DA, last question. Uh, Tommy, one of the things that uh, people said about Kispert was he was able to play with other players. I wonder how much that factored in. He was able to play with other kind of top level players like Suggs and, yeah. and uh, Timmy last year. And I wonder how much that factored in. I think it's certainly when, when you're looking and a team in the, that has two players just, you know, in the top 15, that's an amazing collegiate team. They, like you said, they have other players there being able to play off of each other. I think he's what we would call DA a blend player. And it's perfect for us with just more talent at that position, certainly. And it's somebody that's capable of stepping out and really helping us right away. Just want to, you know, kind of the same thing, you know, what most obviously, you know, he's a shooter. I'm assuming that's what most attracted you to him, but um, can you give us your perspective of what really made him your guy? And also, you know, as someone who's known for working and developing young guys, um, how do you see him from that perspective? Well, you know, he's got a discernible NBA skill and his ability to stretch the defense, um, you know, shoot the ball with range. He shot over 44% from three this senior year. Um, you couple that with a guy who's, uh, you know, played for four years at a great program. He's been well coached. Uh, he's a high character, high IQ guy. So all of that wrapped in one is extremely exciting. You know, I think that adds value to this roster. Um, you know, he's going to help us spatially. And I think there's, there's more layers to this kid. 
Uh, he can play off the bounce. I think he's a better athlete than given credit for, uh, and even even a better defender. Um, you know, and that, that's an area that's been my concentration. But uh, you know, you, you got to score in this league to win. Thank you, Neil. Hey, Coach Neil Law, Hoop District. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. How involved? How involved were you with Tommy in this draft process? Was it obviously you were coming kind of late in the game, but did you just give input? Did he reach out to you? What was that process like? Oh, you know, the last couple of days, Tommy's been great. I mean, him and his staff are overprepared, and I, you know, it's a credit to him um, how they've organized this draft, prioritized the needs, um, and they just went down the list. You know, and I think it's important when. Uh, you get the collective group together and you, you decide what the, what's most important for your for your team and you stick with that. Um, so I was I was well informed, but uh, you know Tommy's um, he made the pick and you know I'm extremely excited. Thank you. Helen. Hey coach. Um, in your introductory press conference, you talked a lot about wanting the team to improve defense. Mm -hmm. uh, what's what, what do you see from uh, Corey's deep, deep on his defensive side? What do you see from him there? Well, he's got good size, and I think that gives you the uh, ability to do different things. His versatility, um, he's strong body. I think he can keep guys in front. You know, uh, obviously, we're going to have to work with the nuanced techniques with all young players, and I think that's that's nothing unique uh, to Corey. It's just nature of the league. Um, but I think he's got a willingness to learn. Um, he's got a physicality, so I think he he brings some something to the table. What was that moment like hearing your name called and finding out you were coming? And second of all, what were the conversations that you've had with Tommy and Wes about how you'll fit in with this team and, and, and what they expect from you and what you expect from yourself? Yeah, I mean, that was that little, you know, two or so minutes from the time my name got called when I shook uh, Commissioner Silver's hands was, is a highlight of my life. Um, I feel still feel like my heart rate's dropping. Um, numb from head to toe uh, and I loved every minute of it so that was really cool and I'll remember it forever um, and as far as just talking with um, the guys in the front office over there um, you know they just thought it'd be a perfect perfect compliment to you know a ball dominant you know ball dominant guard like Brad and um, you know I can play off of him I can move the furniture around and set pieces up for Brad to, to score and make plays and um, you know and I'm much more than just a three-point shooter too so I can make plays on my own when I get the ball and that shot's taken away. Perfect, thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Chase. Uh, yes, Corey, uh, where do, what do you kind of hope to develop in your, your offensive game as you move forward uh, and, and you take the next step in your career? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to continue to, you know, be able to make plays off the dribble and, and grow that package in my game. Um, you know, obviously I'm known for being a shooter, so, uh, you know, defenses are going to react accordingly and I got to make them pay for that. And then, you know, I, I really do believe that I can be one of the best shooters in the world. So um, continue to work on my jump shot, groove it, and uh, continue to work my way back off the line. Yeah. Hey, Corey, um, you played with a bunch of really highly regarded players at Gonzaga over, over your career. And I just wonder how playing with other star players kind of maybe helps you prepare for this level as well? Well, I mean, Rui Hachimura is a case in point, right? I mean, he was a star player at Gonzaga. And, um, you know, I spent a lot of my first two years learning to play, you know, behind guys like that, and how to play with a guy like Rui or play with somebody similar to a, a game like his. So um, spent a lot of time working on it. And I'm going to definitely, you know, harken back to my experience uh, doing it for, for the years to come. Thanks. Fred. Hey, Corey, good to see you again. Thank you. Tommy, Tommy Shepard said to us in a press conference a few minutes ago that uh, one of the things that uh, they liked about you was he, he feels like you're ready to contribute right away. Um, is that something you, you feel about yourself? And, and what are you most confident in your game, not necessarily for down the line, but if you had to step on a court today? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, I mean, that's part of why um, I felt like I needed to go back to school last year was I, I wanted to be at a place where I could come into the NBA and contribute right away. So I feel like I'm there right now. I feel like I can step on the floor and do that for, for Washington right away. Um, and then just, just the shooting will, will keep, will get me on the floor for sure. Um, being able to stretch the floor and space it um, and, you know, attack defenses from behind the arc uh, is going to be 
you know, my, my first, you know, impact in the league for sure. Ben. Hey, Corey, welcome to DC. Uh, you just worked out, I think, five days ago or so in Washington. What were your impressions, I guess, um, after meeting with, I don't know if you met with Coach or Tommy, but I guess what were your impressions following that workout? I met with Tommy, I met with Mr. Shepard, and, um, you know, I loved it. I really liked Washington. It was my first time ever being in D.C. Um, loved the city. Uh, I mean, I loved staying where I stayed in that area. Uh, and and uh, Tommy was just – was. Um, very complimentary of me and my game, and I had a great time visiting with them and the staff. So I had a good workout. Um, I enjoyed my time there. So, you know, check, check, check. Neil. Hey, Corey, nice to meet you. Welcome to D.C. In during that workout, did you ever get a sense that, oh, this team really likes me, I could be a really good fit with them? And did that ever go in the back of your mind, or were you as just caught off guard as anything? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, uh, they, they they were gracious enough to tell me that to my face. I mean, they thought Tommy that Shepard thought I was a great fit for Washington and told me that on my visit. I mean, he didn't guarantee me anything. He didn't tell me, you know, what was going to happen tonight. But, um, you know, I had a great visit. I had a great time. Um, and I really enjoyed myself uh, while I was in the building. And real quick, have you uh, sent Rui any texts yet or anything? No, I mean, I don't have my phone. I, I left it at the table. I uh, want to be present here, but uh, I'm sure I'll be – uh, talking with Rui a lot over the next couple of days. Thanks. Congrats again. Thank you. Matt. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Corey. Um, Mark Fuse obviously coached a, a lot of uh, future NBA forwards over the last couple of years. Any special advice he gave you to, to get ready for this process? I just said be yourself. Um, you know, all the time that I spent with Coach over the last four years has kind of groomed me into becoming – uh, ready for this moment and uh, you know he didn't want me to change a thing so um, you know a lot of credit goes to him for be helping me become the player that I am. Cool thanks congrats. Penny. Hey Corey congrats. Um, tell us a little bit more about your relationship with uh, Rui and what do you think it could contribute to the team right away? Um, Yeah, you know, Rui and I are really good friends. Um, I spent two years with him in Spokane, um, and he was always very gracious and nice to me, even when he left and um, started playing for the Wizards. So um, we're still good friends today. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing with him and actually stepping on, stepping on the floor again with him. Um, what a fierce competitor and a fierce athlete, and a guy that I can't wait to play with. Um, and I think we're going to, you know, that chemistry that we, you know, built over the two years at Gonzaga, you're going to see that kind of, pick up where we left off uh, as soon as I get to Washington. Thank you. Good luck. Alif. Hey, Corey, congratulations. Um, new head coach Wes Unsell, he mentioned that defense was a big part of the philosophy moving forward. How are you going to contribute on that side of the ball? Uh, what are your strengths when it comes to the defensive side? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I have a lot of experience on the defensive end playing four years in college. I'm getting used to defensive schemes. I know where to be. Um, I understand offensive spacing. Uh, I'm going to continue to grow and improve as a you know, on-ball defender. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really smart off the ball. I know exactly where I need to be. Um, I can make the plays doing that. So, I mean, I'm a really solid defender. Uh, and I've worked a ton on it over the last, you know, couple of years, couple months. So, I expect good things from me on defense as well. Thanks. 